Hello. I am Li Su from the Institute of Information Science, Academia Sinica, Taiwan. It is my pleasure to have a presentation in the ACMIUI conference. The title of my presentation is, Positioning Left Hand Movement in Violin Performance, A System and User Study of Fingering Pattern Generation, authored by Chung Ping Chen, Yi Xin Zhen, Shi Wei Sun, and me. This paper is about automatic fingering recommendation for plain violin. Organizing fingerings, or say, choosing which fingers to press on which positions and strings, is a crucial step for playing the violin. Proper fingering makes the hand movements comfortable, and also facilitates musical expressiveness. However, arranging fingering is not an intuitive task since it is a highly subjective and knowledge-intensive process. So, we consider a computer-aided system which provides possible fingerings for violin players. Here is the framework of the proposed fingering generation system. As shown here, the proposed system is constructed with three modules for predicting string designation, hand position, and fingering choice. These modules are neural networks in which the inputs can be manipulated by users according to the needs and the use of strings and ease of finger transition. Here we have a demo video for our proof of concept user interface. First, we can load a music score which is formatted in a standard music XML file. The music XML file contains note attributes, including pitch, duration, note type and others, and our load function can automatically gather these note attributes. Press the button to open the file. Here, we choose the basic mode. Then, press the recommend button. The stringing fingerings are then recommended and shown on the score. The beginning is the D string, from no fingering to the first finger. Then the G string is recommended for the C sharp note. To train our model, we compile a new dataset, which contains 10 violin pieces and the corresponding note by note annotations by 10 professional musicians. Given the dataset, violinists are recruited to annotate the fingerings according to their performance habits, resulting in more than 200 kilo note annotation in total. The annotations specify the detailed performance attributes of each note such as pitch, onset, duration, note type, string designation, hand position, and finger. We use bidirection along short-term memory networks which take a note sequence and it outputs probabilities for strings and hand positions. The string module outputs a sequence of string designations. Based on the predicted string, the position module outputs a sequence of hand positions. Thereon, the finger module generates a sequence of finger choices based on the outputs of the string and the position modules. We construct three generation modes based on the output probability distributions of the networks. The three modes are basic, lowest, and nearest. For the basic mode, the hand position with the highest prediction probability is generated for each note. For the lowest mode, the network outputs the lowest hand position among the hand positions with top 3 prediction probability values. For the nearest mode, the network outputs the hand position which is in the top 3 prediction probabilities and is nearest to the generated hand position of the previous note. Here we show the generated fingering samples of the 3 mode and a baseline method. We observe that the sample by the lowest mode tends to switch between strings to keep the left hand in a lower position while the nearest mode mostly stays on the A string with smooth transitions between different hand positions. Eight subjects are asked to assess each sample using seven-point scales regarding the four targets called ease of transition, expression, naturalness, and skill level. Results on the first excerpt shows that the lowest mode is easier for beginners than the nearest mode. However, for the second excerpt we got no significant differences between the three modes. This shows that the assessments of the same mode could be diverse. Comparing the proposed system with the baseline method, we find that the lowest mode of the proposed system has the potential to outperform the baseline. Thank you for your attention.